So I believe right now uh, the last one would be how to get started, right? So um, there are a couple of platforms here that you can actually use from Binance, Coinbase, BlockFi, right? Um, there's also uh, others like uh, Bittrex, uh, Huobi, KuCoin, etc. But based on uh, some of the research that I have so far, I've uh, discovered that these are some of the platforms that you can uh, actually use, right? Um, they are pretty um, high in terms of their ratings, right? And uh, they have pretty good uh, customer feedback so far uh, on some of the platforms, right? And I will also be sharing with you some of the highlights in terms of the capabilities of their exchanges. So most of these exchanges listed here are mostly decentralized exchange, which means that you need to do your 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 verification with your identification identification card, um, your mobile number, email address, as well as probably a, a KYC of your face as well, right? And uh, this is something that are um, required, right? Because it is if, if they want to do a validation uh, before you do deposit some of the monies into the platform right so once you have done this process then you can start uh, purchasing uh, the cryptocurrency of your choice in any of these platforms um, so some of the functionalities of uh, Binance is listed here right where they have a huge uh, resources at their disposal so there can be things like uh, exchanges right Academy is a beginner friendly where they will do an article as well as a video on any terminologies or their products, right? Uh, blockchain Charity Foundation is also something that they give charity from time to time, right? Uh, and then there is a Incubator Labs as well and a Launchpad for new tokens, uh, Research Analysis as well as Trust Wallet being their official finance wallet as well and uh, following up with uh, coinbase um, so there are two coinbase uh, products here which is uh, the blue one and the black one so after looking at some of the uh, feedbacks and red comments um, the coinbase you should use the black one because it is better in terms of the fees and the uh, transaction rather than the blue one because the blue coinbase has a higher transaction fees right and some of the products that are listed below here as well, which covers things like Prime, uh, Commerce, Custody, custody to hold your uh, your crypto, um, earn such as uh, like earning interest, right? USD coins as a stable coin, wallet, as well as some of the ventures that Coinbase also participate. And there's another last one, which is BlockFi, which uh, allows the crypto um, holders to actually earn that bond, uh, earn APY yields on a yearly basis uh, just by uh, staking some of their crypto here. So for example, if you stake your, your Bitcoin, you can earn up to 6%, uh, GUSD 8.6%, uh, Ethereum 5.25%, etc. Right? But uh, please take note because uh, these rates are actually the yearly rates, right? Uh, if you're planning to do it and hold for the long term, for example, then you can uh, consider to put it here, right? And uh, bear in mind that they have a recent change in their rates and tiering as well in April 1st, where they have made a tiering, um, I believe, because there's a lot of people in this uh, space that understand on this, uh, this uh, free money, right? On earning interest. So that's why they are making a tiering in terms of their, their interest rates as well. So as more people come on board and get registered, so the the amount of uh, interest rate on a yearly basis will reduce as well because it will not be sustainable, right? So this is some of the platforms that you can consider, right, to use. And uh, yep, this is the end uh, for my end. So I uh, hope you guys uh, get a lot of information from this and uh, you can check out some of my other videos uh, as well. Alright, thanks for watching guys and appreciate it.